must stop the production of new clones if we are to win this war. I am a hero of heroic cyborg General Grievous. <laughs> Grease is not cruel, Grease is not malicious. <laughs> Action to Grease is our heroic as he back it doesn't. So, breaking down the Clone Wars Grease's heroic actions on Rising Malevolence. Grease's heroic actions on the Malevolence. Now, this is not Grievous' first appearance in the Clone Wars. So this is not, you know, his first appearance like in the war itself and all this other stuff. So and the reason why we're talking about this is because like I said the Grievous' first appearance was in the Battle of Geonosis. So the Rise of Memphis is the first T V debut of Grievous' real character. But everything else about this is just you know, it's the debut of Grievous in the show. So we're going to go ahead and break down from, you know, we're going to be watching clips and clips after here. You know, we're going to go ahead and start on the Jedi's evilness. So, like I said, you know, the chat, um, Bro Prime says, um, people should accept that Grievous is a hero in this effect. Let me, let me check if that's actually popping up good on here. Yeah, yeah, okay, that part good. That's just my screen but anyway yeah thrill prime says people should accept the grievous as heroes fact and yeah people should accept grievous as heroes effect but they want to live in lies and bias that's the sad thing they just want to live in lies and bias so we're gonna go ahead and watch bit by bit like i said you know because copyright issues so we're not doing the whole episode of watching but we're gonna watch it bit by bit and we're gonna start off we're, gonna, we're skipping the news reel because you know the news reel is biased so we're skipping the bias newsreels. And like I said, if you don't remember that, you can go check out my video. The Clone Wars newsreels are biased, and Grease is a fact explained. So we're going to go ahead and uh, watch this Jedi evilness. The enemy ship has reduced its speed, General. They must have realized we are tracking them. Okay, so first, this is what we get introduced in Grease or in the episode of Grease Rising Malevolence. Plo Kloon, as you know, the Bias Newsreel stated, you know, if you haven't read even the web comics, the Bias Newsreel states that the evil Jedi Master Plo Kloon and Wolf, his clone commander and naval officer in this episode for some odd reason, but we're we're not talking about that. That that they're here to destroy Grievous's heroic malevolence because it's already been causing problems for the evil republic thanks to the wonderful Palpatine. So Palpatine sends them to the location. So now they're tracking Grievous the hero down. So we're just gonna keep breaking it down. Yeah. Republic cruisers. What should we do? And there's Grease Heroes' debut. And the only thing we you know, we see the shot of the malevolence, like I said, Grease Heroes just waiting orders. He's just sitting there, and you know his first word or what? Well, not his word, but you know his first thing he just growls is he's already mad at the Republic and Jedi villains. Remember, the Republic and Jedi already killed Grievous' people, so he's already angry, but he's already been in the war from the Battle of Geonosis, so Grievous already is mad at these villains, you know, for their evil acts, so he's like, like, mad because of the Republic villains. Like I said, this is only facts, not opinions. That's why we're breaking it down, because I know people love to do their own opinion, blah, blah, blah. No, but not my opinion, it's just facts. That's why we're breaking this down, and we're having a good time about this, so. Oh, yeah, little so. How's the hunt for the mystery weapon going? We've tracked it to the Abogado system. We need reinforcements. I'll have to ask the council, Master Plo. Okay, and here we go on. We get Ahsoka and Anakin in their evil debut. You know, from the movie. You know, they already debuted, if you really count that. But in the show. So. Uh, okay, so Ahsoka and Anakin, basically, if you didn't read the web, come up, they heard about the mystery weapon. The malevolence. They're looking for the mystery weapon. We already know. 
So anyway, well, if you, of course, people don't know if they're thing. But yeah, the mystery weapon. So, it's all going to you know, they're just doing their thing. And we're about to break this down on here again. Because like I said, we're breaking down with facts. No opiniones. Anyway, the reason why we're this one... Anakin is not a hero in the Clone Wars. I have to keep telling people that. Anakin did evil acts. So Anakin's not a hero in Ahsoka, who was following her evil master, doing evil actions, is also not a hero. So Ahsoka only becomes a hero later, when she leaves the Jedi Order. So we're not talking about Ahsoka when she is in the Jedi. Because the Jedi are already a villainous organization, doing evil acts, committing genocides on innocents, abducting children, starting war, supporting and allowing slavery. So, like I said, Yank and Ahsoka, Plo Clue, they're not heroes. They're villains portrayed as heroes, but that doesn't mean they're in quote-unquote heroes. So let's keep moving again. I was given strict orders to protect our staging area. What is wrong with the transmission? There's too much interference, sir. Alright, so that part you can see, you can see of that part, you know, that's from, you know, what Dooku told Grievous was to jam their transmissions. So, the droids, so Grievous ordered the droids to jam the Republic villains' transmissions so they don't send reinforcements to destroy the heroic Malevolence cruiser. So, that's just what that is. So, nothing really to talk about, you know, there in Jedi villains complaining and Palpatine manipulating and all this other stupid stuff. So, we're going to talk about this. We you know how this is. In a dozen systems and so, without a trace. we cannot afford to lose any more ships, my friends. Ah, Master Skywalker. Okay, so basically, like, like I said, you see this in here, you know, the Jedi trying to be some sort of quote-unquote heroes when they're clearly not. So, like I said, you know, they're all complaining, crying, and whining, and, you know, all this other stuff about the Grievous' heroic actions with the mystery weapon. So now we're going to about to get back into the actual Battle of Arbogado, because, like I said, we don't really need to talk about the Jedi villains talking. Anyway, because that's not what we're here. We're breaking down Grievous heroic actions. We're not breaking down Jedi's evil actions. This That'll be a different video. Will be anyway. A suitable test for our new weapon. You may fire when ready. Yes, my lord. All right. So there's Grievous Hero's first line. The first line of Grievous. Yes, my lord. Following Dooku's orders to destroy evil. Anyway, this is what we're talking about. Grievous' heroic actions where he says, telling the droids, the driver battle droids, he's telling them to fire at the Republic villains. And the Jedi villains are freaking out, of course. They're worried. You know, they're worried, and then Grievous' hero says, fire. And now the Jedi villains are getting wrecked because the Malevolence uses its special ion weapon. Alright, so here we're going to hear Grievous Hero say, FIRE! FIRE! So the Malevolence fires its ion weapon. It just neutralizes the evil Republic fleet. And then Grievous Hero starts tearing them down by telling, all, by telling his driver's battle droids to... Have all cans fire. Like I said, very heroic in the first episode of the Clone Wars. Are down. All cannons fire. So now you see Grievous heroic actions where he's shooting at the villains. He's shooting at this Republic villains. They're freaking out. Oh, 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 oh. So you see them firing at that. And, you know, they're firing at Grievous' heroic ashes. They're shooting in the villains. They're getting killed one by one. And now they're sitting there just freaking out like they don't know what to do. The Republic villains, they're like, oh. They're like, oh, we don't know. And Grievous is laughing heroically because this is hilarious. Because the villains are falling beneath his heroic clutches. So, yes, he is laughing heroically at this. 
So we're going to go back to Grease laughing heroically at this. If I can find, because, you know, I'm trying to, like I said, copyright issues. All right. Look, see, the villains are getting destroyed. They don't even know what to do. The GI villains are getting wrecked. Like I said, this is only facts and not opinions. So, you know, people like to sit here and try to say, oh, the facts I speak are some sort of opinions. Like I said, if you think that, you're not mentally smart. You're mentally retarded. You're a Jedi tard. Like I said, the facts that Grease is here, it's just what it is. I only tell facts. You only tell opinions. Because, like I said, I'm only factual, not opinionated. Remember that. Anyway. That is just what the truth is with Grease's world character. And like I said, Grease laughs heroically. But <laughs> he is laughing heroically at the villains. So that is just what it is. So Grease keeps laughing heroically. And that's just and the Republic villains get destroyed. Let's go back and listen to this part right here. It's for test, wouldn't you say, Count? We must keep our positions. So, Grease Hero, after that, he sends out the Hunters. So, um, Grease Hero, he sends out the Pod Hunters. So, yeah, that's what happens after that. Grease Hero, he sends out the Pod Hunters, you know, thanks to Dooku's orders, and then the Pod Hunters are Rocket Battle Droids that fight the evil Plo Kloon, and everybody already knows, like, you know, that is this. That's the Republic villains now. Anakin and Ahsoka are now trying to find the villainous Plo Kloon because, you know, Ahsoka and Plo Kloon have this whole connection in the Clone Wars, you know, with, you know, Plo Kloon. When he found her, he abducted her into the Jedi Order and forced her and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. So that's why there's all sad for Ahsoka, which nobody cares about. So that's just, you know, more sympathy for Jedi villains. But anyway. That happens in the Rocket Droids fight, and then after the Rocket Droids, Rocket Battle Droids, the B1 series Rocket Battle Droids are defeated, Grease Hero is like, perhaps some survivors are putting up a fight. We're going to hear that now. Perhaps some survivors are putting up a fight. That is something. We so Grease Hero is like, perhaps some survivors are putting up a fight. And he's just, you know, confused. And, you know, he was like, hmm, something's wrong. So then they have to figure out. So now Dooku's like, that cannot be allowed. And the Jedi villains are still freaking out on Coruscant with Palpatine and all this other nonsense. And, you know, Palpatine's trying to blah, blah, blah. But Soka, you know, being the dumb villain. <laughs> anyway, but um, let me see something. So they find Plo Kloon, they save him, they save his evil behind, and then Grease's heroic malevolence tries to track the villains down. So Grease's heroic malevolence is trying to track the villains down. So as Grease's heroic malevolence is trying to track the villains down, now everything is like, oh crap, because now Grease is actually looking for, you know, the Jedi villains. So now he's looking for them. So, as Grease is looking for, you know, the Jedi villains, it's like, okay. Now he's looking for them because, you know, he's trying to figure out something's wrong. Like, why is there a ship moving as the droids report? There's a life form, so he tells them to turn it around, which they do. So, again, that's why I always have to keep laughing. How are Grease's heroic actions in here trying to find villains who are trying to escape? some sort of evil. I don't understand this. This episode clearly just shows Grease's heroic actions where he's just following the heroic separatist cause and just doing stuff for the goodness of the separatists and destroying the villains called the G.I. and Republic. So, where is this so-called evil? Like I said, I don't get that. Like I said, Grease's heroic actions and the so-called failure and all this other stuff. This is when season one starts that trend of, oh, uh, the Grease hero, he's some quote-unquote Saturday morning cartoon. Yeah. Then Grease is a hero, he's not even this. Yeah. But yeah. So like I said, that's basically Grease's heroic actions in Rising Malevolence. The only thing he did in there, which was already heroic, was commanding his heroic subjugator class group of Malevolence, destroying evil Republic fleet, sending pod hunters to find the villains to make sure all clones are 
dead. All villains are dead. So there's nothing wrong because, like I said, that's another thing. And we're going to talk about that. 